I will try to read this to you guys. Um, the Serpent Mound is one of the North America's most spectacular effigy mounds. Serpent Mound is a gigantic earthen sculpture representative of a snake built on a spur of rock overlooking Ohio Brush Creek around 1000 AD by the Fort Ancient Culture. The earthwork was likely a place of ceremonies dedicated to a powerful serpent spirit. The site is located on the edge of a massive crater, possibly formed by the impact of a small asteroid around 300 million years ago. Frederick Ward Putnam, Putman studied Serpent Mound between 1886 and 1889, due largely to the efforts of his efforts of Serpent Mound became the first privately funded archaeological preserve in the United States. The Ohio Bicentennial Commission, the Ohio Historical Society in 2003. As you can see by this sign, this says a burial mound, and it's a sacred mound, it says, so do not walk or step on it. I don't know how good you can see it in the camera, but it's a, a mound of grass there, up, hyped up. Huh, kind of interesting. Yeah, hanging back at that uh, carryout kept us out of the rain. Yep. It stepped it really nice, yeah, huh? Yeah, it did. We rode after it rained. I'm smarter than I love. Lit up in Hillsboro. And it started raining. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Dayton. We're from Lancaster. We're a little further away than we are. Looks like it was coming, well, it was moving that way. The uh, Serpent Mound. Yeah, I have my ring here. Did you want a picture? <laughs> time we got stocked, it was cheap. Yeah. We stock it on, but I was wet when I Yeah, the temperature on. felt good coming through after it rained. Yeah. Did you want a picture? Yeah. There you go. 
Alrighty, this is for outside. He wants me to read this one here. Astronomical alignments at Serpent Mound. The head of Serpent Mound is lined up to the point on the western horizon where the sun sets on the summer sol solstice, the longest day of the year. Some think the three main curves of the serpent's body point to the summer solstice sunrise, the equinox sunrise, and the winter solstice, solstice sunrise. Others believe they are aligned to the minimum northern moonrise, the point on the horizon where the moon rises at the midpoint in its cycle and the maximum southern moonrise. Due to the short, slight lines and the inability to define precise alignments for the U-shaped curves of the mound, it may not be possible to determine whether the builders of the serpent really intended to, it to be aligned to each other, the sun or the moon. Many of the earthworks created by the ancestors of contemporary American Indians are aligned to points on the horizon, marking key rise and set points for the sun and moon. It may have been a way of linking these sacred sites to the rhymes, or to the rhythms, I'm sorry, of the cosmos, or it may have allowed the sites to serve as calendars. And there that is. Have a great day.